I'm Janice McLaughlin, a Mary No sister who works with the African Forum for Catholic Social Teaching, AFCAST. And one of our projects is a working group to combat human trafficking. My name is Ladera Ichikokwete. I work uh, with AFCAST uh, as the administrator of the program. AFCAST stands for the African Forum for Catholic Social Teaching. I'm Gertrude Chimangi, and I am with the Catholic Commission for Justice and Peace, is the coordinator there in Utari Delsus. Uh, the Africa Forum for the Catholic Social Teachings is a network of interested individuals who are working with institutions to do with the social teachings of the church. My name is Uche Chuku Oguike. I am a Jesuit from Nigeria, studying philosophy at Arupe College, Harare. And I work with AFCAST, the Africa Forum for Catholic Social Teaching here in Harare. And we are looking at human trafficking in Zimbabwe and then in Africa at large. So we are trying to create an awareness to bring to the consciousness of people that human trafficking is real, it exists, and it exists in various forms. We have found out through stories told and untold that uh, some girls are lured uh, from rural areas to come and stay in the urban and peri-urban areas in search of better educational facilities uh, offered by the re their relatives. Uh, they are promised to be sent to school um, in exchange of uh, helping in the house during the day, then they go to school in the evenings. Apparently, that seems not to happen in most cases. In the end, it looks like the girls end up uh, being held hostage. Uh, they are involved in prostitution rings. They are involved in other activities which are totally different from the prior arrangement with those who would have taken them from the rural areas. Human trafficking is a, a modern day slavery. That means exploitation of men, women and children for commercial sex, for labor purposes or for organs purposes. There are different signs of indicators which shows that someone has been trafficked. First of all, one has to know that in trafficking, there are three levels. There's the action, there's the means, and also there's the purpose. Uh, my name is Agnes Chapiko. I'm 31 years old. When we were there, Things were not easy. It's different from being at, at home. home. The life that you're used to in Zimbabwe is different from the life that you, you will be experiencing in Kuwait. Mm. They are harsh working conditions. You start work at 4 a.m. and you sleep at 2 a.m. And their houses are very big. I was working at uh, a three-story house with each floor it has got about seven to four to eight rooms and we were three maids. Once the person leaves the country, you meet these people and you don't know them. But then they take you, then they'll say, ask you, give us all your belongings. And then they'll take you your ID, whatever, a phone, and you are left with nothing. And they take you to a place which you will not recognize. I was in Kuwait by airport 
tukashika kuma 4 kunze kwa yedza kwa tuchena pata tudiwa ma passports pata isi kwa mune imwe room yenge yenge isina kana winindo kana chi inge iri mukati kati neche pasi ndo pata isi kwa murumu mea mea maive ni ma philippines ni va mweve kudera si twanga kwa ngwanda vanhu vakawanda wanda but twanga ngori vasikana sikataka gare momo kupana fu kusika kwa zvunyatso chene sese vanotanga basa na kuma 8 Christopher Mwembe is my name I work for Carita Zimbabwe as the national coordinator as Carita Zimbabwe we are working in combating human trafficking using a number of strategies these strategies uh, have been put into a framework which we call the seven p's the first p is prayer and the second p that we encourage is the issue of policy the third p is around participation and the fourth p um is um prevention we encourage um different uh, structures of our church to create even shelters for for victims of human trafficking but even before coming to victims every human being has a right to a safe environment to a safe shelter Gati chenda kuheti takayenda takati kawanda wedu tachi twendi patika enda wese so Tasi gati ati na jindo ka tanga ati na majinzi tinge ti sina munhu wana ta yendera agenda wangu angari mu Ethiopia no bangu ati you sister you come here for work basala ko ndire mumba so bunza ati ko sei apa na cha daira sukajinzi jingo mi responsa ko acha ya factura i am Anastasia Manyumbu ndaka traffic wa Pataka inda kukuit. Kwande garai dress the last house and get it closed. Sasho kuti wangosika kwanza kufamba sina passport, sina authorization form ya ba kune unoshandira. Wangosika kwanza ah wangosika kwanza kana kutenga kana coffee kana pa shop wangosika kwanza se boss. I need a passport of one need a that authorization form ya ba kuna ningiri kini kuna waurushandira. Ni authorization form me kura dzo kuti rimuskanwe basa wani foot ne ma hours of fun and go on street so you needed to move ne zi envelope the andi fenda kafa ndaka odzo zvinjo kwakati kune basa ndo vana ti enda kuda kuenda kuda pamwe takadzidza sometimes zvino ndi haunta tikango zvi ndikaita a flashback yazo ndiko nongo kuti kana ndakabata kana chini kana crooked kana anything chino kwani ndo kunongo panika zvongo ndo kwani kana anything chane takabata kango vundu kake kuti ndo zvova zvozongo pera ye ndoda kupa mazano kuni vamwe vari kunzwa nema nesekana tfukitsa kuti zvino kaudzwa kunzi kune zvakati kunze kuinyika usango manya kuenda kana uda kuenda kunzi uko koko zvipita kuti uende ku foreign affairs ku home affairs kana IOM Oya zvona kuti zvavanhu kukushedzwa izvi zvenyi usati waenda noti tukudzwa zvinima unoita mabasa asiriwo please human trafficking is real be aware of it be conscious of it and please spread the word human trafficking warning signs irresistible offers that are too good such as all expense paid trips advertisements in newspapers and social media with irresistible promises that cannot be verified when the agency or agent making these promises are unregistered with the government or other law enforcement agencies visas that are not specific and over restrictive when travel arrangements are made very quickly within a few days such as when visas and tickets are issued within 3 days or less visas issued in foreign languages or languages that you do not understand 
exactly as to what it states, and the translation is not clear. Noticing that there are many people of a single gender traveling with you, such as a vehicle or a plane full of women or men alone. When documents of identification, such as passports, visas and permits, are confiscated upon arrival at the country of destination. Human trafficking, safety measures, or what to do. Reference check before traveling or accepting offers with the following. Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Ministry of Labor and Social Welfare, Ministry of Home Affairs, Ministry of Education, Ministry of Higher and Teacher Education, International Office of Migration, IOM, and AFCAST, the African Forum for Catholic Social Teaching. Make sure you know the location and contact details of the Zimbabwean Embassy in the country you are traveling to. Take a copy of your passport or ID and keep it with you at all times. Finally, make sure you have the name and address of where you are going and ensure your close family and friends have all the contact details a recent photograph of you, and a copy of your passport. St. Josephine Bakita, the patron saint of South Sudan and the patron of those who have been trafficked, the same fate that she herself suffered. The Zimbabwean artist Justin Gope pictured her as a Zimbabwean woman because she represents all women and she inspires us to work against this evil. Let us turn to her in prayer. May Saint Josephine Bakita, patron saint of those who have been trafficked, inspire our efforts to put an end to this modern day slavery. And may God, the giver of life, strengthen and guide our efforts to restore freedom and dignity to all. Oggi ricorre la giornata mondiale contro la tratta di persone promossa dalle Nazioni Unite. Ogni anno migliaia di uomini, donne e bambini sono vittime innocenti dello sfruttamento lavorativo e sessuale e del traffico di organi. E sembra che ci siamo così abituati da considerarla una cosa normale. Questo è brutto, è crudele. E criminale. Desidero richiamare l'impegno di tutti affinché questa piaga aberrante, forma di schiavitù moderna, sia adeguatamente contrastata. Preghiamo insieme la Vergine Maria perché sostenga le vittime della tratta e converta i cuori dei trafficanti. <SILENCIO> 